Welcome to another read along with Miss Orpesa. Today we're going to be reading Getting to Know the World's Greatest Artist, written and illustrated by Mike Venezia. This one is based on Vincent van Gogh. Vincent van Gogh was one of the most tragic artists who ever lived. Nothing ever seemed to go right for him, and he wasn't very happy. He never even smiled in his self portraits. Van Gogh was born in Holland in 1853 and died in France in 1890. Unlike most artists, Van Gogh didn't decide to become a painter until he was grown up. He tried a lot of other things first. He worked in an art gallery selling paintings. He tried teaching. He worked in a bookstore and he was a preacher like his dad. None of these things made him very happy. Then one day he decided to be an artist. Art dealer. You call that a good painting? My five-year-old could do better. This isn't making me happy. As a teacher, this isn't making me happy either, Mr. Van Gogh. As a bookseller, no, I said that one, can't you hear? This definitely isn't making me happy. As a preacher, I think I'll be an artist. That might make me happy. Van Gogh always tried his best at whatever he did, so he went to different art schools to learn everything he could about drawing and painting. His early drawings were of the poor people he used to help when he was a preacher. There are certain things you can see in these drawings that show up later in his famous paintings, such as the strong lines and shapes. You can see the feelings he had for everyday people. Van Gogh's first paintings were also of the poor people he had been helping. In this painting, the family was so poor they had only a few potatoes to eat for dinner. They looked tired and not very happy. The colors in Van Gogh's early paintings are dark and sad. He wanted everyone to know how hard the lives of the poor people were. Van Gogh kept using dark colors until he discovered some very colorful Japanese artwork. He loved the bright colors and strong lines and shapes that he saw. Soon, Van Gogh's paintings started to look much more colorful. Look at the difference between the gloomy potato eaters and the painting above, which was done only a few years later. Japanese prints for sale. Wow, I wonder what that bright stuff is. It's called yellow, blue, red, and orange. We know a lot about how Van Gogh felt and why he did certain things because he was always writing letters to his younger brother, Theo. Theo always helped his brother he encouraged him to paint and sent him money when he could. Because Van Gogh was always sending and receiving letters, he got to know his postman pretty well. He painted pictures of him and used the postman's wife as a model in many of his paintings as well. Who's it from, dear? It's a letter from Vincent. He says he's sick, nobody likes him, his room doesn't have any heat, his back is killing him and I should send him money as soon as possible. Uh, sounds like he's doing much better. In 1886, Vincent moved to Paris, France to join Theo. Paris was the center of the art world then. Since Theo was in the business of buying and selling paintings and Vincent wanted to be an artist, it seemed like a pretty good place to be. Theo introduced Vincent to a lot of painters while they lived in Paris. Hardly anyone knew it then, but many of those painters would become world-famous artists someday. Vincent, I'd like you to meet Toulouse-Lautrec, Camille Bernard, Camille Pissarro, George Surratt, Paul Signac, and Paul Gauguin. Gee, Theo, I was hoping to meet somebody famous. A couple of 
of years later, Vincent van Gogh decided to leave Paris and move to a small country town called Arles. Van Gogh thought Arles would be a great place for artists to get together to paint and talk about their different ideas. He tried very hard to get as many artists as he could to join him. The only one to try it out was Paul Gauguin, although he wasn't really crazy about the idea. It turned out to be a big mistake. Gauguin didn't seem to like anything Van Gogh did in Arles. They argued a lot. Your cooking is terrible. Your paintings are terrible. I'm a better artist than you are. I wish I never came here. Worst of all, you never pick anything up. This place is a mess. You are such a grouch. Van Gogh probably decided to listen to Gauguin about cleaning the place up because his bedroom looks pretty neat in this painting. Finally, after a very bad argument, Gauguin decided to leave Van Gogh and return to Paris. Van Gogh didn't know what to do. He really wanted things to work out well with Gauguin. Van Gogh had always had problems during his life with the way he felt. Sometimes he would get so angry and upset that no one could make him feel better. This time, he became so angry and upset he cut off part of his ear. Van Gogh painted pictures of himself after this happened. It looks like he wished he hadn't done it. Vincent Van Gogh never really got better after Gauguin left him. Sometimes he was too angry to paint, and sometimes he was too sad to paint. When he felt good, he painted better than ever. He made the stars in the starry night seem like they're really shining. The trees in this painting look like flames, and it feels like the whole picture is moving. In this painting, Van Gogh made the sun look really hot. You almost feel like you should put sunglasses on to look at it. Van Gogh usually put his paint on very thick. Sometimes he painted so fast he didn't mix his colors. He used paint right out of the tube. Van Gogh used so much paint he was always running out. Sometimes he stopped buying food in order to buy more paint, so he was hungry a lot of the time, and he wasn't healthy. I'd like to order some lemon yellow, pea green, cherry red, and I'll have an orange for dessert. Hardly anyone was interested in Van Gogh's work while he was alive. He sold only a few drawings and maybe one or two paintings. People in the 1880s and 1890s just weren't used to the bright moving pictures that Van Gogh made. Today, things are different. People have learned how beautiful Vincent van Gogh's art is. Now, his paintings are some of the most popular in the world. This may have been van Gogh's last painting. Some people think it shows how angry and upset he must have been feeling because he painted a scary sky, roads that led to a dark background, and crows that looked like bats. Soon after this painting was finished, Van Gogh shot himself. He died two days later. Van Gogh, guess what? You finally sold a painting. Hmm, maybe I have a future in this after all. Van Gogh made his painting seem alive with color. His colors are so bright and beautiful, you can almost smell the flowers he painted or feel the bright sun. His brushstrokes give everything a feeling of movement. Trees, stars, and people feel alive. Maybe more than any other artist, Van Gogh's feelings came out in his paintings. That's why Vincent Van Gogh is one of the world's greatest artists. It's much better to see a real Vincent Van Gogh painting than a picture of one. It's fun to see how thick he put his paint on, his brush strokes, and how bright his colors are. 
The pictures in this book came from the museums listed below. If none of them are close to you, maybe you can visit one when you are on vacation. All right, guys. Well, this is it for our Vincent Van Gogh story. Thank you so much for joining me and stay tuned for some more wonderful readings with Miss Orpesa. And make sure to also try out the art projects that go along to our readings. Thank you.